Imagine the parachute pen. All right, guys. Jamie's being a freak show. But uh, I got a parcel in the mail. Let's uh, let's go and do it. Before I go in the shower and bring the kids sliding. So it says uh, no fine print warranty. I think it's like a brand or something. No, no, it's just like a joke because you know it's uh, made for off-road trucks, so they're you know just playing around, I guess. Looks pretty heavy. BPS suspension. And I guess we'll open it from the end because the end's already all chewed up. Oh god. Yeah. GM Dodge rear long A arm suspension. Ah, A arm. Chevy Dodge Ford Jeep Suzuki Toyota. Don't cut yourself, please. Oh my god, there's like shit in there. There's shit in there? Yeah, like brown shit. Oh my, why did you think that? First time I see that, usually it's peanuts. So, we got our uh, leaf spring pins and uh, two side retainers for each side. And this is what I didn't have with my kit. They're so cold. Made in Canada. Oh yeah, made in Canada and I ordered it from the United States. Oh my god. But these are my leaf springs. They're pretty fucking stiff too. That's good. That'll give me about a two inch boost, two to three inch boost in the rear. And uh, if it still doesn't level it off with this, I can always put a one inch block with new uh, U-bolts. Well that's it, that completes the uh, just spit. <laughs> that completes the um, the, the lift, the <laughs> lift for the, the Suburban. Lift? It's done. Everything's there in the box now? Everything's in the box that I ordered and I have everything in the other box that's in the truck now to uh, lift okay. it up. But it's really funny that it's made in Canada and you ordered it from the States. It is, it's really funny. Completely says it. Made in Canada. Yeah, I zoomed on it. Bob, where's your Bob? Bob needs some new leaf springs. Do you need some new leaf back what springs? It's Bob's new toy. I'll be able to throw it in the park and he'll retrieve it for me. <laughs> He's a good dog. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. Probably gonna get rid of the box and uh, just put this in the truck with the bag. Sure. So uh, that's what I got. So the lift is completely done. Cost me seventy-four dollars plus thirty shipping, and when it got to my door, it was another fifty dollars of duty. So it's pretty expensive. I probably could have got it locally cheaper, but this I know it fits and it's made for its purpose. So, but it's done. I got all my parts. Now I just need to uh, put the lift on and tune her up, and uh, we're gonna have a kick-ass truck for the family. And uh, if any. And. I was saying if anything blows, worst case scenario, transmission is $1,600, which I'm already starting to save up to put a new one in. I'm going to keep my old one just in case we off-road and we crack the case or whatever. And a motor is about 1000 bucks. So I'm going to see how much a used combo is, low mileage, transmission, and motor may just take all that out, slide a new one in. Check that out. Cool, guys. Catch you later. Love you. Bye.